Time in YouTube and welcome back to Theme Deck Corner. Today we are going to be looking over the Abundant Fury deck featuring Tapu Bulu GX. Tapu Bulu GX has the 180 HP. He is a grass type with Horn Attack as his first attack. For one grass, you get to do 30 damage. Uh, you have Nature's Judgment, two grass, one colors, 120 damage. But you also have the option of discarding all your energy, and if you do, you can do 60 additional damage. Uh, you have Tapu Wilderness GX, two grass, one colors, you can do 150 damage, and you get to heal all of Tapu Bulu's little wounds. Now with that being said, I don't find Tapu Bulu to be the utmost strongest GX, obviously not the weakest, but I'm interested to see how in practice he is going to play out. Um, he is kind of cool. I do like the art, art style that they used for him. Um, now we do have an abundance amount of grass Pokemon. Now that is not necessarily a bad thing considering they're all full lines and will be able to get potentially some use out of all of them. Uh, starting off with Serena, 140 HP, stage 2 grass type with Queenly Majesty. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn you may have your opponent reveal their hand then discard a card from there. We also have Trop Kick as our main attack for 1 Grass, 2 Colorless, 80 damage. Uh, you get to heal 20 damage and remove all special conditions from this Pokemon. So, it's really meant for a bench warmer to get rid of that uh, one, one card, considering there's only one Serena. Um, next up is the very important Shinodic. Shinodic in this format, well in this deck, is going to be fantastic because we have no way of keeping up with meta decks. Uh, keep Keep in mind that although this is a theme deck, it, it has to go on to the regular format, so we will be playing against regular strategized decks, and this is going to make these decks really hard to use. Um, but you know what it could be our method out, having 100 HP, um, its main thing that we're going to be looking at is that Illuminate, and that is once during your turn, uh, you may search your deck for a grass Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck afterwards. Um, that is the only use Shinodic is going to have in this, but it could be the most important use of all the cards. Because this will help us get, you know, if we need a turn one Bulu, there we go, got it. Or, not turn one, we're, we're going to need at least turn two to get this thing. Uh, turn two Bulu, you know, getting our Pincers? Um, or even like fully getting the line of Serena because we can do that. We have the ability to every turn get, you know, Bell Sweet, Steeny, and then uh, Serena. So it is possible to get it. Um, speaking of Pinsir though, uh, we have 110 HP Grass type here. Um, has Roof Fling. For two colorless energy, you get to flip a coin. If heads put your opponent's active Pokemon and all cards attached to it into their hand, you also have Guillotine. Uh, for two grass, you get to do 50 damage. Pinsir's alright. Um, not something that we want to put a lot of effort into. Um, this guy, however, is something we want to put some effort into, considering I love this card. Absolutely love it. I've actually gone out and I've been working on trying to build it IRL, just just because it's one of my favorite cards in the set. Uh, 130 HP Grass type, stage 1, has armor as the ability. Uh, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks, which is awesome because, you know what, this gives him that whole... HP doesn't really matter as long as I can tank through it. Uh, he's got a very powerful attack in Resolute Claws. Grass, 2 colorless, 80 damage. If your opponent is a GX or EX, you get to do 70 more damage, which is 150 total. And as you guys have seen from my Glissopod, Lorantis, it can do some massive damage right out the gate. Um, now to start up our trainer cards, I'm not gonna lie, this 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 lineup is not gonna be all that great, and I do apologize if we lose all these games. Uh, starting off is the Big Malasada, heal 20, and remove a special condition. This, the removing special condition can be kind of useful, but we're, we're talking meta games here. 20 damage is nothing, guys. Like I, I don't know if we're gonna survive anything, if it's gonna matter if we heal 20. Uh, we've got the Energy Retrieval, put two basic energy cards from your discard pile back in your hand. This is good with Tapu uh, Bulu's Nature's Judgment, um, but unfortunately we'll be wasting a lot of turns to try and get that working. Um, we are using Great Balls, look at top seven cards, you may reveal Pokemon from there and put it in your hand. It, at least it's something, right? Um, we have the Multi-Switch, move an energy from one of your best Pokemon to your active. I don't know how much this is going to be helpful right now. Um, we have Pokeball, flip a coin if heads you get to search your deck for a Pokemon. I hope it works this time. We have a Pokemon Catcher, the current Lysander in the format. You know, once Lysander's gone, Pokemon Catcher will probably see some more action. 
Um, you get to flip a coin. If heads, choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and switch it with their active. Uh, you get a rescue stretcher. Uh, put a Pokemon from your discard pile back into your hand or shuffle three in any combination from your discard to your deck. Uh, you have switch. Uh, switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench. Very useful. Uh, we have the Aether Paradise Conservation Area. Now, again, I do want to make a quick note. If you guys did watch Galissapod, this does not work on Galissapod because Galissapod is not a basic. Uh, it does clearly say basic, and I, I missed that when I did that profile, so bar with me that that, that did happen. Uh, but it will work for Tapu Bulu, so Tapu Bulu will get the armor effect um, just like Galissapod. So that is very nice. Uh, starting with our supporters, we do have Lily. Uh, we get to draw six cards or eight, depending on the turn. Oh, you don't. Yeah, you get to draw up to six or up to eight, depending on the turn. Uh, we're getting to use our Mallow for the first time. Uh, search your deck for up to two cards, shuffle into your deck, and then put them on top. Kind of cool. You gotta kind of get to know what you're gonna be drawing the next couple turns. Uh, we have Kukui. Draw two cards, you get to do 20 additional damage. Um, so as you guys can see, we will not have a whole lot of hope and dreams with the supporter lineup. As much as Lily and Kukui are decent supporters, they're not Sycamore and End, so we have no draw support at all in this deck. Um, so hopefully we can get that Shinodic like turn one or two, and that can kind of mitigate the draw problems. Uh, we are running Poison Barb. This will be kind of cool to dwindle our opponents down a little bit um, with the Poison, but other than that... Uh, and lastly, we are going to have two double colorless energy and a whopping 16 grass energy. That is Abundant Fury. Let me know in the comment section below right now, is Abundant Fury going to be better than Electric Mischief? Um, I personally think it could be. Again, there are some really clutch cards in here, and there's none of those really weird cards that just aren't going to do anything. Um, not that there were in Electric Mischief either, but I don't know. Anyway, we are going to head into the good old VS ladder and see if we can get ourselves some wins! Alright guys, match number one is here, uh, going up against Wesser? Wesser. Um, now as you guys can see in the background, I did manage to get a green screen. Um, it was actually my birthday. This would go up Wednesday, or Monday. It'll be the previous month or er, previous Tuesday was my birthday. Um, and lovely lady Eon picked me up a green screen. Now, it's not that I don't know how to use it, and I don't know how to hit click chroma, chroma key, but I don't have blinds for my window. So, unfortunately, when I do hit the chroma key, I have, like, a big patch of grass in that big bright spot right there. Green, not grass, in that big old bright spot up there. So, I do need to get a, uh, some blinds so that that can work properly. But once that we do, we'll get it all prettied up. Um, but until then, you you get the big green mat. Um, so, we are going to click OK. We're done. We are going second here. We're playing against a Yveltal deck, so my hopes are not high in this. Uh, we're going to see a Dark Energy and a Level Ball. Oh boy. Kind of hoping here that we can, you know, make it through this. I just need a Shinodic, and then we'll be able to at least, you know, get some cards and get some stuff going. But we need a loss. He's got a Cacturn. Okay, then. My opponent is using Cacnea from Breakthrough. This will be fun. That's all I'm going to say. He got two Dark Energy from the Professor's Letter. We're going to get one Grass. Uh, we're going to... Put that back there, and uh, we're gonna hit you with a ram. Shuffle this Pokemon all cards attached to your deck. No, thank you. Ram 10 damage. So we don't need grass energy. We got that. If I get Shinodic, I can actually get both Galissapod and Shinodic right now, and uh, hopefully survive a few turns. Our opponent does go a Corphish and has a Cacturn. Has derailed, discarded special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, which you probably won't be able to. Has pin missile, flips through coins, this deck does 40 damage times the number of heads. Hmm, interesting. Uh, so we're going to see that he's got Cronaut, he's got Cacturn, and he's got Yveltal. Uh, interesting lineup of cards, not going to lie. He's going to bring up the Morlul, which makes sense. It is the more threatening Pokemon, and he can actually take me out in two turns. Uh, I'm going to get a Pincer, though. He just needs to drop an energy though, and every single one of my Pokemon goes down, right? I'm going to 
gonna drop it and go put him to sleep. You know what? That that's what we can do. We're gonna we're gonna sleep off this damage and uh, go for the flickering uh, flickering spore. We'll put him asleep. He stays asleep. Phew! Gives us another turn. Another turn of hope and dreams, because right now Yveltal could have easily taken us out. Uh, Cacturn does get that one dark energy, and he's gonna sick him more. Ah, the the use of supporters. I don't remember what that feels like. Fighting for Yveltal onto the Yveltal. It's gonna take me a little longer to knock it out. He's got Sableye, uh, the bewitching one. Uh, Choose a supporter card from your opponent's discard pile and use it as this effect, and you have Fertile Drop. He does wake up. We can put it right back to sleep, though, unless we get some good cards, which we don't. Um, I'm going to have to try and set up this pincer. Because, honestly, that's my only way of playing this. He is going to stay asleep, which means I can kind of just put all those cards back into his hand. Um, and hope that that's all I have to do. Uh, we're gonna see the Bridget comes up, and he's gonna get a Larvitar and another Yveltal. So, well, there's a lot of interesting cards in here. A lot of interesting cards in this deck. Uh, we're gonna see the Ultra Ball. He's got a great support lineup. Like, he's got the Ultra Balls, the Sycamores, the Lysanders, all those kind of things. He's ditching two Dark Energy. Uh, this way, is Yveltal can Oblivion Wing them. Oops. Uh, he gets the Chronon. And he'll be able to evolve right here. So he's got a full dark deck, technically. Uh, and he stays asleep. Okay. Ooh, we get a Pokeball. Do we level up? No. So our, uh, our way of winning this is to retreat into our Pinsir. And uh, hit this thing with a Roofling, because I can't knock it out otherwise, and I don't want it setting up in my face. Seriously, coin flips, you've, you've got to work sometime here. Oh. So, I literally just set my pincer up to get knocked out, because he just needs to drop a Dark Energy and I'll go down. Uh, Unruly Claw. Gets rid of one of my good old grass energy. That's that's a little bit of energy denial there. Thankfully, I do have another grass energy, so I can still go for it. Oblivion Wing is what he's going to go for. 40 damage. And, uh... I don't know, guys! We're not looking too hot. Energy drop onto that Yveltal in the back. We get a great ball now, so we have that potential still. We can we can still look for some good Pokemon. Okay, we got the Shinodic. That that is important. That is very important. So now every turn we can start grabbing grass Pokemon. I wanna grab Galissapod so that my good old Wimpod does not just get knocked out. Now every turn from here on out we'll be able to get two cards pretty much. As long as he doesn't knock me out, of course. Uh, I am going to continue to go for that Roofling, because I can't naturally knock it out, can I? No, it's got a lot of HP. Uh, yes! Okay, so this all goes back to your hand, which is great. I don't want it here. Get rid of it. Up comes yep, Veltal. Uh It's pretty much set up the same way. Like, he'll have it the same same concept, but, uh, you know, yeah, I, I don't know what I was doing. This thing's got 170 HP right now. Damage increase to 40, like, I, I can't keep up with this. Hmm. And he's getting, yeah, this this is, I don't know what to do. Alright, uh, great ball, let's see what we get this time. I get another Galissapod. I kind of need other things now than Pokemon. Shinoda can handle our Pokemon problems. Like getting our Bulu. There we go, put Bulu on the... On the deck, we can uh, da, 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 do damage. That, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some damage. Hope, hope, and pray that we can get some damage off on this thing. I could have done a lot of damage prior, but you know what? I decided to flip it and put it back in the hand. That was a couple misplays. You know what, though? It's all good. It's all good. Uh, Pitzer does go down. My opponent does take the first prize of the game. Uh, we are going to have to put up our Galissapod. 
Now with the armor ability, I won't be taking as much damage. Um, yeah, we can drop that down there. Let's go for a Pokemon so we don't draw them. And I'm going to go for another more little sh uh, Shinodic line because I can start getting like more stuff out of the deck quicker. Uh, this way I can get like the ball suite and another full uh, another full line. So here we go. And hopefully with this happening I can draw the other cards in the deck. We're going to see an escape rope. And I'm just going to go into my Tapu Bulu. Because really that's what I need to do. Uh, I'm going to have to start setting it up now. He's just, he's playing properly. Like he's going to get me for 100 damage here. And do you land on the heads? He does not. Okay, so we've got the Bound Sweet. Uh, we can go for the Shinodic here. This will at least get us two Pokemon. I can get the other Wimpod, because honestly, like, I don't need Pokemon. I've stated this now. Don't need Pokemon. We have ways of getting all of that. Let's get our Wimpod. I've got all this nice synergy, but no, not nothing to play with it. So we're going to pass, because that's what we got to do. And now the Shinodix will be kind of useless at this point, because, well, this one can't attack, but this one can. So all he needs to do is, oh, he's going for a Crushing Hammer now. <laughs> okay, thank you. He did not get it. Denied, denied, denied. He is going to retreat. Uh, he just needs to drop an energy, which he does, and my Tapu Bulu will go down here. I unfortunately do not have anything going for me, but I do need that Grass Energy. If I can get it, I can possibly do some damage. Possibly. Yeah, we're going to get some damage on this thing. Okay, Steeny. Galissapod. Uh, we're going to illuminate and get us the Shinodic, or sorry, the Serena. And we'll illuminate, like this is at least what's nice about the Shinodic card being in here is we can at least get Pokemon. We just haven't got a way yet of getting the other cards. And once we do, we'll be great. So Resolute Claws will do 80 and not enough to take this thing out though. Not enough to take this thing out. Uh, but we're getting there! We're getting close! Uh, we don't need to worry about the rail. We aren't using any special Pokemon. He is going to go for that Oblivion Wing, but because he does not have a Fighting Fury Belt, he won't actually do damage. Which is fine by me. He is just going back and forth between these two, using up all his Dark Energy. And how much has he used? He's lost only four? That's not bad. Uh, crushing Hammer attempt, and he got it. Welp! Welp, 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 welp. Does drop a Dark Energy onto the Avelto and goes for Oblivion Wing, which will do nothing. Which is great. Okay, we got our Grass Energy back. I don't know what that last sound effect was. Uh, Serena, uh, Serena is up. Uh, yes, I would love to look at my opponent's hand. What do you have? You can keep the end. I'm getting rid of the Ultra Ball. You can't have that. And will benefit me. That's why he hasn't used it, guys. Um, at this point, like literally, I just haven't drawn any trainers. Nothing. Nothing. Let's let's just get some Pokemon out of the deck so we don't draw them. And if he ends, he ends. Like that. That is a benefit for us. Uh, we'll get a bounce, a bounce sweet. Just, just something to kind of keep this stuff out of here. And let's go for the Resolute Claw. We'll get 50 or 80 damage down. We're starting to make some damage on the board. Galissapod coming through is the strongest card in the deck, in my opinion. I can try and set up the Tapu Bulu now. Uh, once I start getting some Grass Energy back. I've lost five! Um, we're going to see... Darkness Blade coming through. It's only going to do 70, but it's still going to be enough to pick me off in two hits. We get a multi-switch. I don't have any energy on the back. 
I'm literally just grabbing the rest of this Pokemon so I don't have to draw them. And he did not end for the simple reason of it would be worse for him. <sighs> okay. Resolute Claw. We'll get one prize card here. One prize. All right, we're on the board. We got a Pokeball. I don't need Pokemon. <laughs> oh man, seriously, that is the last thing we need right now. I think I've drawn all the Pokemon. If you end, I actually have less cards now, though. There we go. But he could be drawing me into a useful hand. No, it's just as bad as it was before. It's, it might even be worse. Parallel City, I don't need the Shinodix now. Right? I don't need the Shinodix now. Okay, done. Can't take them for early prizes. He may not have actually gotten the uh, additional energy that he needs for Yveltal. Yeah, he didn't get it. He's. I'm taking 10. I got a big Malasada, I can heal that off. Ooh. We might be in this now. He's lost a lot of energy. He's lost six. Uh, he got one back, though. Uh, we can now go for the Aether Paradise, which means that we'll be taking a little less damage. We can drop a Moral Law because we can. Um, heal off 20 of that damage that we've had. And I'm going to play Mallow, which is going to come real clutch right now because I want energy. Okay, and this is the guy I really want to take out, so Resolute Claw is going to go off. We are going to get rid of Yveltal. Very nice. We're going to get a Steeny. Not important. We already have played our Serena. Oh, I could have discarded Serena. And, uh, because she has no effect right now. Her, her one attack really isn't going to do me any good. Trainer's Mail. In comes the Sableye. That he can benefit from my Mallow. That's that's what this guy can do. I can one-shot it. He's got Yveltal's on the field. He's down to 10 cards left. He's actually struggling here to pick up this last knockout because of the armor attack. And I probably will just put it all into... Actually, I can probably go into Tapu Bulu now because uh, I'll have all that additional stuff. He does still have Dark Energy in the deck, which is in pretty impressive, I gotta say. Uh, we're going to start setting up this Tapu Bulu, though. I can actually play one of these guys, but I'm not going to. I want a Pokemon Catcher. I fail. Because, you know, I fail at everything! Oh, man. But we're going to take this. We're going to tie up this game. And get a Wimpod. Not important. We already have both our Galissapods in the game. I'm kind of looking for energy. Double Cutlass would be nice. Crushing Hammer. Well, I am going to get another Grass Energy, so with that, I'm okay. Now, the Aether Paradise does not work. I will have to kind of come in here somehow and get more damage on something else. Um, I was hoping to use those two energies on top of Bulu, but, you know, since he has got a... Whoa. He's got that good old Cacturn completely set up now. Just set up a Wimpod. Make him think I've got more Galissapod coming. Uh, we're going to hit him for a Resolute Claw. Um, we've taken 10. If he gets another Dark Energy, he gets another Dark Energy, but otherwise we should be okay here and should be able to knock out another Pokemon. We're going to each draw just three. I don't need either of the cards in my hand, so this is working fine for me. He actually gets me both the energies I need! And Oblivion Wing will do 10. Glissopod and that armor is just powerful, guys. It's completely saving us right now. Completely saving us right now. I can drop a nice... Double color, or sorry, I could drop a grass energy here. And I'm, I'm just going to go for another knockout. We're actually going to take the lead here. Oh, hold on. Never mind. He's got 10 more HP. Darn Fury Belt. Darn, darn Fury Belt. Uh, but I do like how the new holo effects really gave these guys a lot of shine. Uh, they look way better now. And I do believe you're... Oh no, you're reverse. That's why you're in a hollow. I uh, did get the Pupitar. He is going for a Via Seeker into an N. Called it. 
So we will not get to use that double colorless energy drop. We're going to see Silent Lab. Not that it's going to matter. I don't think I have another Aether Con uh, Conservation Area though. Or Aether Paradise. But I did get my next Grass Energy so I can actually come in here Tapu Bulu can start cleaning up. Um, which will be nice. But I'll probably hold off. We can go for the Resolute Claw. Because Galissapod going down isn't that big of a deal. Uh, but we're going to take the lead here. Just barely. Uh, we can get some energy retrieval and start setting up the other Pokemon in the back. Barring the, uh, like, primarily the other Galissapod. Because uh, he's had a lot of problems with it. And I'd like to keep it that way. I'd like to keep it where he can't play. Uh, so if I can get one double colorless energy and the grass energy, I can actually set up a Glissopod pretty quick. Uh, I'm barricaded, so he can't hit me. And uh, we're going to go with the energy retrieval. Get me two grass. Booyah. And uh, 130, we do 120. Not quite enough. I'll drop down my Grass Energy onto Galissapod. We can go for a good old Resolute Claw here. Um, again, unless he gets Dark Energy, which he has used up a ton. Like, he's got five in here, and unfortunately, five... He's just retreating into the Cacturn. Uh, this is actually the best play for me, because he can... Li well, he will Lysander me. No, he's gonna end. I'm alright with this! You can end me all you like. I know you're trying to get cards right now, but uh, you can't knock out my Bulu, who is going to come in and eat this. I got the double colorless energy. That's actually great. 40. So we are going to take 50 damage from the armor. That That's how powerful armor is. All right, so we're going to go in here. You only have 100 HP, so I'm going to just clean it up. And... Uh, Poison Barb on you, double colorless energy onto the Glissopod. We'll actually take this game. Very interesting. I was not expecting to, uh, no. I was not expecting to pick up a, not, uh, a victory in this matchup, but uh, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it. Tapu Bulu's going to come in and finish off this matchup. And there's not really a whole lot they can do. They can thrash but they're just going to potentially do more damage to themselves. Uh, level Ball gets the Macacnia. They're down to four cards left in their deck. Four cards left. We're going to see the N. Uh, drops me down to one. Does not matter. I've got the Bulu in my hand. I get a Rescue Stretcher. So if I really wanted it, I could put a Pokemon from my discard pile back into my hand. Uh, they're actually just going to take 20 and get poisoned. Uh, sorry for the messages. And we're going to just clean up the game. There we go. Match number one complete. Now, I give one thing credit here. That my opponent's deck wasn't up to par. I'll give him that. He he had a really cool idea, but he, he made it the work the best way he could. Um, in terms of us, we got really unlucky at the start of that matchup. Could not pull anything but Pokemon. Even with the Shinodix out, we were just drawing Pokemon even afterwards. It was it was really difficult to s try and set up Pokemon that need three energies to attack. Um, but with that being said, Glissopod literally was the MVP. Was able to hold off all of those Oblivion Wings. Was able to take all that damage. And you know what? That armor ability is just so good. Uh, but can we win a second match is the question. We'll see in just a moment. Alright guys, match number two is here against Ash Act. Also playing a dark deck. Interesting. Lots of darkness out there right now. Uh, but we will see what happens here. Now, when you guys are seeing this, I'm actually just coming back from my first... Or, like, I just actually came back from vacation. Uh, I was at the Anime North convention in Toronto. And, oh man, definitely going to be a fantastic time for me. Um, I know, uh, I know I'm going to be seeing one good Twitter friend of mine, Dirtfield, he'll be there, but, uh, that, that will be everything in all. So I actually got a great opening hand here, because I got Double Colorless Energy from Wimpod, which I can just drop, and I got Shinodic. 
uh, in my hand. So as long as I don't get end, I'll be great, and I'm going first. So that that is also good. Um, I'll be doing an Anime North Hall video instead of a regular video on the Wednesday. Uh, this will showcase everything that I managed to get, but I wanted to make sure uh, I didn't have to create a video um, like the Sunday night when I come back, because I don't know, like we're planning to come back from the convention and go see Guardians of the Galaxy right after. So it's one of those, yeah, we may not be home, and it's Yveltal in front. Uh, we may not be home for like a while. So it's one of those, yeah, please, uh, ooh, we actually got it. We're going to get that Tapu Bulu since I can just Shinodic for the uh, Glissapod. Um, I'm just going to set this up real quick. Um, and the idea is that this way I can make sure you guys have content and then go with the rest of the week after, because I'll be on holidays. Um, I'm going to pass this turn. I'm down to two cards left, but I've got the most important card in my hand right now, and I've got Grass Energy coming. This one actually has Yveltal EX though, so Galissapod might be really important. Uh, they are going to do 10 more damage to us. Yveltal is coming in. And can Oblivion Wing? Choice Band is going to be onto the Yveltal EX. Oblivion Wing is just going to go off. Hit me for 50. Uh, but that is it. We're going to see that Grass Energy does drop onto my Wimpod. Uh, Shinodic comes in. I'm going to heal up a little bit of that damage. And we're going to get Galissapod damage going off here. Now I know this guy... This guy just has... Already, seeing the Yveltal EX is way better. It's way better. Uh, seeing the EX is just going to be a lot more troublesome. Because um, I already have a lot of energy on my Pokemon. But I'm going to get 80 damage off. I know I can't hit him in two shots. So i got to try and set up one of these other Pokemon real quick. Um, especially since with this current Stadium, he's doing more damage as well. So uh, my armor is only going to take 20. Oh boy. That's, that's actually still good, though. Uh, we got a Grass Energy. We can drop that right onto our Tapu Bulu. I can start going for more Pokemon. I would like to get... Let, let's get the Bounce Sweet line up and try and remove one of those cards that he's drawing. Actually, I should have gone for another Shinodic line, but that's okay. We are going to go for some Resolute Claws. 80 damage down. Um, he needs to do something soon, else he might be in a little bit of trouble here. Glissapod again, proving just how strong he is, because turn two, this was amazing. He is going to remove two potential cards here. He may not be ending for the simple fact that I already don't have any cards. Uh, no, he red carded and Zoroark. The red card's not going to do him any good. Uh, so he is, gonna, he is going to get a Zora. Uh, sorry, he got rid of the Zora break, not the Zoroark. Uh, so he just play this. He has a Floatstone, but that is all he's got! He is looking for more damage. This is actually great for me. I'll play a Steenie. I can get myself a more lull. Uh, this way I can start getting more Pokemon out of the deck. Uh, actually, I kind of want to get the Wimpod. I uh, get a second Galissapod kind of going. That Pinsir is really what's kind of messing this up. But as long as I have no Pokemon or no cards in hand, I'm okay. Weirdly enough as that sounds. Uh, but we are going to get rid of the... Uh, Yveltal getting us a Shinodic, which means I should have gotten that Morlow. Uh, Zora's going to come up. This thing can get one-shotted, um, considering he is top-decking. Like, he is just top-decking right now and can't do anything. Uh, we can drop Poison Barbs onto it, and there's a win. We actually got two wins on two Yveltal decks. Now, I'm going to say this right now. This second episode, this second match was definitely more of a gimme, considering my opponent just didn't draw properly. But, with that being said, I had a good time with it. I won. I had a good time. Um, honestly, I was just trying to showcase the deck, and it literally, we were able to get a much better routine. We were able to condense my opponent's uh, problems down, and half the time, a lot of people are depending on that end play. Like, we were depending on that end play to get them out of a bind because the player needs to get out of a bind. We don't run it. Can't can't help you if we don't have it. So my opponent was stuck with a bad hand. We, uh, we were able to benefit from it because we did get the cards we needed and they were not able to end us out of it. Um, and that's kind of a few things that people forget to play is as much as this wasn't like an amazing game in terms of what happened, us not having stuff ended up being in our advantage. Um, 
N is such a fantastic card, but if you are going to give your opponent a lot of cards because of it, like in our first game, our opponent hoarded the ends until we were down in prizes, uh, so he, he didn't have to get rid of them. And that's why I didn't get rid of it when I did get rid of uh, one of his cards with the Serena, because, you know, they're valuable to me too. Um, so, needless to say, that is going to be today's episode. I personally prefer Abundant Fury over Mischief Electric, or Electric Mischief. Not to say that either deck is good, um, just this one has a little bit more, you know, synergy because of the Shinodic. Um, you are able to get more Pokemon out. You are able to get more stuff because you aren't technically going to be drawing more Pokemon. Um, but with that, I still probably wouldn't recommend playing either of them. Um, if you're going to go for anything, probably go for the Tapu Koko because the Koko cards are definitely a little bit more playable in a right metagame. Whereas Tapu Bulu as a GX really isn't all that amazing. We did see that, you know, three energy drops is a lot. Um, Galissapod being a stage two sorry, stage one, but being a non-EX attacker is going to be a lot more beneficial for you. I think that's why Galispot is just so much better in terms of attacking. Um, but that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And like I said, I should have an Anime North haul video for you guys on Wednesday. And then we'll be back to our deck profiles and whatnot on Friday. Um, but that is going to be it. Also, there will be bonus streams this week to make up for the final or the missed streams that I had on the previous week. Again, I was away for a holiday. Um, nothing I could do. I was gone Thursday night to Sunday, so there's obviously going to be no content for you guys in terms of streams that way. And I'll probably mention that. Uh, no, I, I I couldn't mention it because I don't have any more stream time. Sorry, recording this Wednesday, so I know what I've done. <laughs> um, either way. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next video, but until then, time out.